In this question, we have to find the value of alpha for which the ratio of V output upon V s its magnitude becomes equal to 10. So, we have to find what at what value of alpha V naught by V s becomes equal to 10. So, you see this V naught is over here. So, this V naught will be this alpha I naught it will be get dividing into these two branches. So, we can find V naught in two ways either we can first calculate the current flowing in this branch then multiplied by R 4 will give me the V output or you can calculate the equivalent resistance of these two branches and then multiplying by this current you will get the answer because these branches are connected in parallel. Therefore, you can see from here V naught this will be equal to alpha I naught. If I calculate the current that is getting divided in this branch, so it will be by using the current division rule alpha I naught multiplied by R 3 divided by R 3 plus R 4 divided by R 3 plus R 4 then multiplied by this resistance that is R 4. And also if you see first if first I calculate the parallel combination of these two it will be R 3 into R 4 divided by R 3 plus R 4 that is this value and multiplied by the current because these two are in parallel so the same answer you will be getting. So, this is the V naught I am getting let us say this is equation number 1. Now, I want to find the ratio of V naught and V s what I have got over here V naught i naught I want to replace in terms of either in V s or V naught. So, you can see i naught is over here. So, you can see i naught this will be equal to voltage V s divided by R 1 plus R 2. Substituting this equation that we are getting from here let us say equation number second in equation number 1 that is we are substituting second in equation 1. So, you can see V naught this is equal to alpha I naught this will be equal to V s upon R 1 plus R 2 multiplied by the value of R 3 R 4 upon R 3 plus R 4. Now, in the question it is mentioned that R 1, R 2, R 3, R 4 they all are equal. Let us assume these all values are equal to some common value R. Substituting it over here, so you can see bringing V s on this side. So, V naught upon V s this is equal to alpha multiplied by R 3 into R 4 this will be R square R 1 plus R 2 that is R plus R 2 R multiplied by this value 2 R 2 R into 2 R it will be 4 R square. So, R square R square will get cancelled you can see alpha is coming equal to 4 times V naught by V s that is I am taking this 4 on this side. So, alpha will be 4 times V naught by V s. In the question it is given that V naught by V s is equal to 10 substituting it over here alpha will be 4 multiplied by 10. Hence, you can see alpha value is coming as 40 and hence the option D is the correct option.